week four of the fantasy baseball season and here's a few pitches i would look to drop this week the first guy's matt shoemaker of the minnesota twins so shoemaker he was decent with the toronto blue jays the last couple seasons but this offseason he signed a one-year deal i believe here with the minnesota twins and so far in the season 19 and two-third innings one and two record 20 hits 12 earned runs five homers already given up six walks 14 strikeouts a five point 4.9 ERA and a 1.32 whip with one quality start. So Shoemaker, this has been him pretty much throughout his career, a five or six inning pitcher. I know he had some success early in his career with the Los Angeles Angels, but right now, this season, it's been a struggle once again for him. Three out of four starts have been mediocre to poor for him. And the Shoemaker on the season, April 5th at Detroit, six innings, got the win. Three hits, one earned run, one homer giving up five strikeouts, a 1.50 ERA, and an 0.50 whip with a quality start. April 11th versus Seattle, five innings, seven hits, four earned runs, two homers, a walk, seven strikeouts, a 7.20 ERA, and a 1.60 whip. Then April 20th at Oakland, three and a third, got the loss in that one, four hits, five earned, two homers, four walks, a 13 and a half ERA. And a 2.40 whip. And Sunday versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. A lot of people rushed out there to the waiver wire. And picked up Shoemaker. But he just couldn't perform in that one. He had a mediocre outing. But he just couldn't get the job done. Five and a third. Got the loss in that one again. Six hits. Two earned runs. A walk. Two strikeouts. A 3.38 ERA. And a 1.31 whip. So right now Shoemaker. He's just not a guy that's consistent. And a guy you really could count on in my opinion, in fantasy baseball. And he's a player that's been dropped already in 4% of leagues, and I think he's an easy drop so far this season. He's just not getting the run support from the Twins. And he's not pitching well as well, obviously, so he's an easy drop. The second pitch is Jordan Hicks of the St. Louis Cardinals. So coming into the season, many people thought Hicks was going to be the closer for this Cardinal team. And I thought that as well, but right now, Reyes is the closer over there in St. Louis. And Reyes, he's been lights out, so I don't think they're going to make the change anytime soon. But Hicks on the season, he's been okay early on. But now the last couple games, he's been hit hard. Eight and a third innings, no record for him. Four hits, five earned, nine walks, eight strikeouts, a 5.40 ERA, and a 1.56 whips of Jordan Hicks the last few outings. They've been bad for him, and right now he's still owned in 50% of fantasy leagues. And I said this last week, he's not going to close. There's no point of holding him onto your roster, even though if he's lights out. But right now, obviously, he's not lights out as Jordan Hicks. The last three outings, April 17th at Philly, one and two-thirds for Hicks. One walk, three strikeouts, an 0.60 whip. April 23rd versus Cincinnati, one-third of an inning, one hit, three earned runs, two walks, and 81 ERA and a nine whip and then his last outing a couple days ago versus the Cincinnati Reds went an inning one hit one earned run a walk a strikeout a nine ERA and a two whip so right there those numbers ain't productive there's no saves in sight for him unless Reyes goes down or struggles himself and I think this week he's an easy pitcher to drop the next pitcher is Dylan Cease of the Chicago White Sox so Dylan Cease he's been an up and down pitcher the last couple seasons here for the Chicago White Sox and on the season so far 17 and a third inning 18 hits eight earned runs two homers given up a 12 walks 20 strikeouts a 4.15 ERA a 1.73 whip and no quality starts so see so far in the season he's had four starts and he's failed to get through five innings and obviously that's not good and if you're a fantasy owner you want a pitcher at least going five or six innings to have an opportunity to get a win in the ball game and right now Dylan sees he's just not doing that at all even though he's not really getting hit that hard he's just walking batters and he can't get through the innings his first start of the season April 4th at the Angels four and two-thirds five hits three earned runs a homer giving up Three walks, three Ks, a 5.79 ERA, and a 1.71 whip. April 11th, he pitched pretty decent versus Kansas City. But once again, four and two-thirds, four hits and an earned run, three walks, six strikeouts, a 1.93 ERA, and a 1.50 whip. And then April 17th at the Boston Red Sox, four and two-thirds, six hits, 
two earned, three walks, six strikeouts, a 3.86 ERA, and a 1.93 whip. And then his last outing a few days ago versus the Texas Rangers, once again, three and a third only, three hits and runs, a homer, three walks, five strikeouts, a 5.40 ERA, and a 1.80. So Dylan sees he's walking the ballpark with three walks in every ball game so far. He started with 12 and four games, and obviously that's not good. He's not a starter going deep into games, and right now, until he proves people wrong he's a player drop even though he's got a good matchup april 29th versus detroit the next pitch is jake oda rizzi of the houston astros so oda rizzi he was on the drop list last week and once again he's definitely on it here and he's been dropped already in 10 percent of fantasy leagues here in this week so on the season eight innings 0-2 record 10 hits nine earned runs three home runs giving up three walks 11 strikeouts a whopping 10.13 ERA and a 1.63 whip. So Oda Rizzi, we know he signed late in the offseason here with Houston. He thought he was going to the New York Mets early in the offseason, but obviously that didn't happen. And now he's on the injured list with a forearm injury. And who knows how long he's going to be out with the forearm strain is Oda Rizzi. But even before the injury, he sustained a few days ago versus the Angels. He just wasn't pitching good. April 13th, his first start of the season. Three and a third. He got the loss in that one. Seven hits, five earned runs, three home runs, giving up four strikeouts, a 13 and a half ERA and a 2.10 whip. Then April 18th at Seattle, four and a third, got the loss in that one. Three hits, four earned runs, three walks, seven strikeouts, an 8.31 ERA and a 1.38 whip. And then his last outing versus the Angels, he only got one out in that ball game before he got pulled with the injury. So right here, it's an easy drop. And he's a player that should be dropped in just about all leagues right now because he's proven nothing this season. And now he's on the injured list. And I wouldn't reserve an injured list spot here for Oda Rizzi. And the fifth and final pitcher I would look to drop this week is so Alex Kawame of the Minnesota Twins. So Kawame, he signed the deal here with the Twins to become the close in the offseason. And so far here, he's just a guy struggling right now. And they might go a different direction. So far this season, he's been in a lot of action here in big parts of the ball games. is Kawame, eight innings pitched, already a 1-3 record, two saves. 12 hits, 6 earned runs, 2 homers, 2 walks, 8 strikeouts, a 6.75 ERA, and a 1.75 whip. So those numbers, obviously, they're pretty bad for Kawame, and he's just not producing saves. He's not getting wins with the 3 losses, and he's already been dropping 6% of fantasy leagues. And the last 3 outings for Kawame haven't been good. April 21st, 1 and 2 thirds. Got the loss in that one. One hit, one earned run, two walks, a strikeout, 5.40 ERA, and a 1.80 whip. And then yesterday at the Cleveland Indians, he imploded. He couldn't even get an out in that inning. Got the loss, one hit, one earned run, a homer, an infinity ERA, and an infinity whip. So right now, there's some decent closing options out there. And if you want to cut Kyle May loose, I totally understand that he's not producing. The ERA is way high, and he's already got three losses on the season. So that's a few pitchers I would look to drop here in week four of the fantasy baseball season.